Hello, the world. How's everybody? One thing's a little different tonight. We got a, um, I'm doing, I'm having to set up more like how I work, um, instead of getting it all zoomed in just because I'm having to bunch around, bunch around a bunch. Uh, I'm trying to get, uh, FFmpeg can cat. to install and work on an EC2 instance. So far, I have not been able to do that. So that's what this is gonna be. And hopefully we can make some progress. Uh. So I got a, the EC2 instance up and running. Um, this is gonna be just a bunch of back and forth on trying to get stuff to go, really is all it is. Um, bunch of installing, bunch of waiting. The machine's pretty fast, I'll give it that. Oh, the other thing I wanna do, so, Launch instance from template. I just want to have two of these up and running. That way I can bounce back and forth if I get ready to burn one down. This is also fun for me because I'm learning more about uh, EC2 and all this other stuff. Or tags, there we go. Name V10. I think I just do this. Oop. I think it just goes. It's not the greatest UI. If the window's down, you have to see that little X and hit it to actually get back to your machines. Also, like, I, I don't have it enlarged either like it's just it wants the window to be that big not very responsive hey why did that work there we go okay um i'm gonna do build essentials because i'm pretty sure it needs build essentials Install node. I don't want to do it via a package because that wasn't. That's not a good idea. Uh, storage. Node fourteen fifteen. Who remembers how to tar? XZF. Wait, what's an XZ format? Oh, God, why does everybody have their own formats?
I can extract with XF below, but what is the correct way to extract single XV files in console? Oh, XVS should work there, huh? Sweet. Well, that's a bunch of crap. I just want everything to be latest and greatest, so it's not... I just want to have these for notes going back and forth on stuff. Contact, download, nice release. How do I install it? Building, see, building. in there. Ah, uh, whatever. distributions. Okay, here we go. This is better. This is better. it matters if I do 14 or 15 like surely
This might be a good way to do this. Command line base, terminal session recorder, website with API. Probably SSH screen and script. Actually, says, I don't know the script command. Uh, installation. You know what? Ubuntu. But I want FFmpeg concat. Put that in quotes and make it stick. Oh, hello. How the music turn on? Someone's playing music. Thanks. Oh, come on. There's probably different ways to do this, but like, <laughs> I've got like a bunch of sunk costs going on here with this one. It needs sharp. Yeah, okay, so sharp blew up. Okay, let's, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so. Install that. Oh, I know what I was gonna do. I was gonna look at that ASCII thing. Where did that ASCII thing go? That was it. Launchpad.net, huh? I use Launchpad as the name of my local server. Oh, press enter to continue. Okay, I thought it was waiting for me. Or, I thought I was waiting for it. not have a release file update for such a repository it can't be done securely so therefore it's disabled by default yeah it's a throwaway box let's see if it works interesting enter to upload or control C to save locally yeah don't do that I don't like that as an, even as an option uh, how do you replay it playback 
This recording is a raw stream of text. Control sequences. It can't just be played by incrementing printing text in proper intervals. It requires interpretation. Okay. The player comes up with a terminal based emulator. Blah, 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 blah. So what do you, how do you actually play it? Usage. Rack. Play file name. Limit the player, player speed back can be fractional. I didn't play so much. Oh, there it goes. Now is it actually, it's not actually running those commands, right? Ah, whatever, okay. I'll play with that later. Yeah, this is gonna be a bunch of bouncing around. I put a bunch of time into this, so I'm not just like on it, on it at the moment. Just give me something about updating. Oh, if only I had had the thing. Notice new patch version and NPM available. Seven eight seven ten change log. Run this. I saw a bunch of errors. How about we run this? It's still telling me to do that, but I'm pretty sure we just did that. Um, Do F of MPEG from source. Do I though? I don't know which way to when I go with this. Um,
None of those are... Uh, whatever, we'll just do straight and see what happens. I know this doesn't work, but I'm gonna rerun the errors and see what happens. Or who knows, maybe it'll magically work this time. Where'd it go? There it is. Do you need to do pseudo there? I probably should have done pseudo. Yeah, okay. Python not found. I remember this. Okay, so hang on. So I figured out that they don't have, so Python 2 doesn't come down with Ubuntu 20. So what I want to do is knock these errors out script wise, whoops. Oh, okay. There you go. and then rerun this script from start to finish and see if that helps. Been path mod no modules GL command failed. It's doing Python. Found called a pack config. Blah, 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 blah. I bet I'm missing a library. Seems like you need to solve PK config.
Mini herbs. Ooh, different ones. Hmm. Package X11 was not found in package config search path. Perhaps you should add the directory containing X11 PC. No package X11 found. Package XI was not found. Package XEXT was not found. All right, so let's see if we can get those added in. It's the same thing. Yeah, X11 dev. So I think this should probably do these this way. I don't know if it matters. See if that gets past the X11 error into the next one. This is just error hunting. Yep, X11 is now gone. Oh, Headless GL, yeah. It's gonna be these two. Needed to know this version. Okay. So this is weird because I got it to install, but then it just it kept bugging with this. It couldn't find a bindings thing. Wasn't sure what that is. Like G oh, GL couldn't find the bindings, or was looking for a bindings in GL, and it wasn't there. So basically, what I'm gonna do is just do a piece by piece here, and so I just I need to flip the order a little bit because I'm afraid that if I try and install something and it chokes, it may not do a clean install later when the prerequisites are there. I that's shouldn't happen, but. very easily can. Did I roll off it? No, it's still gone. 
Oh, it's going to GL. Okay. Errors. It's okay. Ooh, lots of errors. Wait. That was too far back. Alright, we got that. There's our install. We got code modules. That was with Z and X. 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 -t. Here's a new one. Modules GML command failed. Pre install, rebuild. Entering directory. Leaving directory. Python. Bunch of case statements. Warning the statement may fall through. Okay, looks like it did. Make, release, blah, blah, blah. Build error. Make fails test code two. Maybe all of the same stuff. System Linux five make fail with code two. Fatal error, no such file or directory. All right. GL, GLX. You download the GLX file and copy it in your project file, but it is not recommended. I figured it out. I said at GIP to use the oof, OBIVOPPAA for graphics drivers, purging the PA, PVA, and installing the standard source fixed it. So we're going to do this one. Actually. Oh, well, it just says error a thousand times.
Yeah, this headless GL, I think is part of it. Yeah, X11, X11, R6. All right, we're going to leave that there. And just install this. I've installed this one before. Like, I've done most of these before, but we're trying it differently. I don't know. If you spell install right, mm, a lot of stuff. I don't think it matters, and I'm I'm just gonna sit in the root anyways. All right, let's see what it does this time. Sitting on that timing, okay. Man, app get grep, reinstate A2, whatever, install. I don't know what this is. Add to. I guess, lines. Reinstall package that are already at the newest version. Config item. Oh, I should have installed FFmpeg already. Oh well. Stayed up too late fighting with us last night. Crossfade between two videos using FFmpeg. See, I may roll back to that. I've got this working. Oh. Uh, 
Does this actually work? That would be really phenomenal. Uh, how do I test it? I have to figure out how to move stuff over there. CP recursive, maybe. Oh, uh, here. Why don't we do it here? First of all, we'll do this. Whoops. P address in there, then it's going to be a CP, I, all this jazz. Recursive, dev, here we see, copy the directory, we go from there to there. What are the odds that that works? Not so good. Let's try lowercase r. It's moving some stuff. Not very fast. percent yeah no 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 we're not gonna do that that is not uploading fast at all um original chopped I just need something up there to start with. These are all different errors. This is good. I think likely it's because I don't have a FFmpeg on here. with it and see what happens I don't understand like I went through whatever it isn't working yet so I'm not gonna say anything that was actually up here Different errors. Well, 
kinds of different errors. All right. Command failed. All right, these are new errors. That's exciting. NPM rebuild FFmpeg concat. Yes, I'm at rebuild. Okay, let's see what all these arrows actually say. Put with UC9, all kinds of information. Invalid data found when processing. Oh, did I? Mm, I don't know. Um, oh, there's no data in the ASDF MP4. There's no data in the original chopped either. What the hell? We're going to do it this way. See if that works. Oh, that's neat. I'm well, not used to seeing it scroll. It's cool. That's a little feature. data. FFmpeg concat output output dot mp4 1 mp4 to mp4 Please work. This is crazy. I, so somehow I went through all kinds of stuff. Oh, you know what? The, the difference is I did, I didn't use the node version from FFM from Ubuntu. I used um, I used this straight package that I pulled. That maybe is the difference, because it was like Node ten or something. I wonder if that's the difference. This is a very long time. Maybe like five or six minutes. Actually, it's probably even more than that because it's, I think it's, um, it goes slower than real time uh, for combining these. And one of those clips was like two and a half minutes. The other one's like four and a half. That is encouraging though. That is very encouraging.
so why didn't those other two videos work? Uh, bu 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 video assembler, test data. Chopped, zero bytes, yeah. Did I kill it in the middle of something? I hope the rest of it works. Uh, let's actually push this up. Where'd that command go? B. See if that pushes a couple files. My upload is not fast. Oh wait, there's got a full size one in there. Hopefully the chopped one goes first and the clip one goes next. What is that file? Oh, 100 meg. Ah, uh, still. One point five meg. That's gonna go a little faster. Oh, I really hope that works. I should get fiber. I've been thinking about it. It's like only a matter of time, so I should just do it. Hey, it did the clip one first. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna try and run two of these. Input is clip and original chopped. Maybe four. Go. Twiddling thumbs. Hmm, thought I had another window open over there. Oh. Can't find the server. That was what I was looking for. Oh, I got it. it they all bounced. I ran my little command to uh, straighten the windows and it pulled that one over there. Oh, it made progress. There actually is no audio. I don't know how to turn that off. More to the point, I'm not messing with turning it off. I, like, that cost me some seconds, but... It's okay, this is going slower than I thought. I thought I got a beefier box in this. I put it in on Amazon. I was trying to get one of the... So I thought part of the problem here was that I didn't have a graphics card on these boxes. 
there are some boxes in EC2 that have graphics cards. So I was trying to get one of them, but like you've got to like sign up for Amazon for them before they'll give you one. I think it's my guess is it's like Bitcoin mining stuff. Oh, there's a frog on my screen. Oh, it's a lizard. It's a big sucker. Got to fix that screen so I can open the window without mosquitoes getting in here. I kind of don't want to do anything else until this goes. Or doesn't go. I have so many tabs. Oh, I guess I can... No, I don't want to... This might be the magic. I think this was the magic right here. If I was really concerned about it, I could test it. And see if that's it. But I've spent so much time over this, uh, on this, like last night, and then a little bit before I got on today. Eh, maybe I will. Well, actually, yeah, I guess I could do that, right? I've got another EC2 run, running, if I can find it. Sudo app get install no JL. Yeah, so that's. Oh, it bombed. Failed to create OpenGL context. That's a new error. platforms no versions yeah this was the page when I was on when I was like I was on version 10 but yeah it says version up and eight and up This is good though, this is a new error. And I didn't install any of the OpenGL. Stuff. So if the driver works, I use this Perch Nvidia. Yeah, so but I need headless. I think I know where to go for this actually. Uh, where are Yeah, how can I get headless GL? How can I be on these? Yeah, so let's install this. Uh, 
Yeah, let's try this. Oh, wait. Shoot. It's right there. That's okay. Uh... Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Build essentials, we got. XI, we got. Mesa Dev. G L E W, we do not have. Give me the same error. Failed to create a geo context. In most cases, installing heads GL from NPM to just work. Actually, did it install? That was GL, right? Interesting. It's like, I don't know if this is like sunk cost stuff or whatever, but it's also like, if, if I can just solve this once, then I've got it solved and I can make a post about it and if anybody else runs into it, which it seems like a fairly narrow use case, but somebody else might. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, so I'm not, it's not done yet, so. Working up to date OpenGL drivers. He beats me. If this doesn't work, So we've got Mesa in there. I don't think, yeah, we didn't install XV, FB, whatever that is. That will be the next thing that we try if we need to try something. This HAR validator gets called a lot and it is no longer supported. Requests. It's been every single one of these things. Well, maybe it's all tied together, but like this request thing has been deprecated. I'm getting that everywhere.
went through it. It looked like my green screen was freaked out or something, but it's just because there's the whole... There. Oh, it moved. Oh, I see red. That's bad. <sighs> Lots of red. Make entering directory. A whole bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of stuff. Make leaving directory. It's going and grabbing some stuff that it got. Found Python this time. That was something I ran into for a while. There wasn't a Python under user bin Python, which took me a little while to figure out. These all fall through. Is this the same thing where one of them's going to explode? Video is so complicated. All this stuff is so amazingly complicated, even though it's just ones and zeros and just pixels on a screen. But wow, the complicatedness of making that happen is high. Running cast between incompatible function types from void to whatever. I, where's the actual error? Oh, from bindings. That's what got me earlier, but it got me in a different way. Warn, uh, no. The music died because this music player is trash. So I have the same stuff, and that's not gonna be helpful. know what actually happened and I can't translate this see this is the statement that happened you spawn I'm assuming that's the command that gets called from Python too.
Uh, whatever, I could try and rerun that later. Build, release, see, but it's like make failed at child process on exit. No events, no events on exit. But like none of this tells me what happened. File included from that, from that, from that. Oh, crap, come on. So let's install. Oh, it says it comes pre-installed on Ubuntu. Well, that didn't help. Build essential. I think I did build essentials, didn't I? I'd be hysterical if I didn't. Now I read. I didn't redo package control after installing all that stuff. Was that other error? I should have copied down that other error. Failed to create OpenGL context. Oops. EC2. Oh, EC2 Ubuntu. <gasps> Here's your modern GML's used to run a server. Mess of utils. Also, do you have XS, XVB, F running? Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
run XVFB. X, 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 X. But wait, why didn't headless... Also, wow, I can't do any of that. Uh, but wait, FFmpeg. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Not there. Okay. O output MP four one two go. I'm not sure if I need all these. If if this works, I don't know which one of these mattered, which one of them don't or didn't. Could go through and find out. Actually, could kind of script going through and finding out. It'd be an interesting thing to write. I decided I should keep, uh, try and keep better notes about the error messages that I see. So that if I Google the error, if I throw back in my own notes for an error message, I can see it. Okay, give that a minute. Oh, that messy util. Um, Something else to look at because it would be ideal. What would be ideal is if this runs. I am unconcerned with how it goes, but like during development, I'm not having to use this XVFB. So if that actually does the solution on the um, server, then I'll have to make a switch, right? Which won't be horribly difficult, but it'd be cool if I could just run the you know, basically run the exact same code. Um, But whatever, as long as it works, I'm not going to be picky. 
Please work. This is taking much longer than I thought. I really, these boxes, I must not have got enough. Give you enough box. of tabs I have open right now is kind of ridiculous. I've just been and it's funny because like you just keep bouncing and bouncing and bouncing and bouncing and bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. So but yeah this is the first time I've made it to this page. I've seen I've seen this run thing before. That was one of the things in the headless thing. But like headless didn't install I don't know. But it's thinking it needs a context. Headless was talking about if you need a context, you gotta do this. So like, who knows? Is this actually the same thing? It's a different thing, right? X virtual frame buffer. Okay. I can take screenshots on it. That's cool. Custom PC. Sweet. Is it going to be custom like with glowy bits too? Like all the LEDs and the fans and stuff? Or are you going like uh, stealth? Which way are you going? Work saving right, right. Yeah, send specs. Take a look. Let's we'll see them. It's been a while since I've been in the PC game, so I won't totally... I mean, I can kind of get them, I'm sure, but... I don't remember the last time I looked at stuff. It's been a bit. Though I've been looking at EC2 instances to try and figure out how to get beefy EC2 instances. That's fun. Trying to figure out what their E... There's like V... I can't remember what the things are. They've got two things, and one of them sounds different than the other one. Where's EC2 prices? But I think I did not get a BV1 on this one. But if it works, I'm happy with the little server. I'm not knocking the server. The server has made much more progress than any of the other servers that I've had. Maybe it's afraid I'm going to murder it like it's friends. Yeah, so there's these vCPUs and this eCU, and I don't totally get the difference. Also, I'm running on an M4 2XL right now, I think. M4 2XL, yeah. So apparently that has eight V CPUs and 26 CPUs or whatever. $3 an hour. That's both really expensive and not expensive at all. Music for streaming, editing, and some gaming. Nice. I'm assuming I can throw these on screen. You're not going to have a problem with that, right? I don't want to throw them up there until you're like cool with it. Oh, compute optimized. That's what I should get is compute optimized. Yeah, 
with 132. Good lord. See, that's what I need to do is test and see how long each of these things takes. But this has taken a long time. Oh, wait, it moved. Okay, it's in the MP3 stage now. Sure, no problem. Cool. All right, let me look. Three point seven gigahertz. Yeah, the Ryzen's that's how you pronounce it, right? Ryzen? Those are like what everybody's been talking about for a little while now. If I remember right. Sixty four gig of RAM, sweet. My machine has sixteen and I really would like to have more. And Ryzen, okay, cool. Yeah. I don't know enough about the NVIDIA stuff anymore. I like that it has a limited supply though. That makes me think you're getting a good one. Yep, nice little SSD with it. Two terabytes, sweet. Fractal design, I know fractal design. Oops. Define seven. See what your case looks like. Ooh, shiny. The computer is very slow at the moment. My internet's been going, yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Nice, just clean black case. With sharp ass corners that you can cut yourself self on very easily at night. Are you, uh, what's your black, semi-black, gray, white? Which way are you going? Twelve core CPU, all right. Oh, sweet on the NVIDIA, that's nice. You can only get a black, okay, that's, I would have, that's where I would have got it anyways. I've never bought a computer. Well, that's not true. Back when Max used to be when every computer used to be that tan color that every computer used to be, like I got some of them. Um, and I had one of the blue Macintoshes, Macintoshes, Macs, whatever. Macintosh, good Lord. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. When's, uh, when's it ship? And you're doing the CentOS on it, is what you said, right? Yeah. Linux, all right. Why is this taking so long? I don't understand. I'm okay with it though. Again, I'm not, you do your thing, computer, you're fine. If you work, that's, we're golden. All right, where is this M4 large? Yeah, so this has 26, eight and 26. I need to, yeah, so that's a trick, is I wanna see, this is doing this video processing stuff, and I wanna see, so that's 40 cents an hour, however fast this is going. Like, if I pay four bucks an hour, does it go 10 times faster? Um, Cause I've got a bunch of these videos, and I'm not gonna do very much of the, like, I'm not gonna spend too much money on these. Um, cause I'll just run it in my computer and have it take forever. But. Yeah, no, I mean like you're stacking on RAM and SSD, like those two things, like two terabytes of SSD is just awesome. Uh, and then for the RAM stuff, man, that's, I always tell people like, if you're getting a machine first stock up on RAM and then stock up on an SSD and like, and then more RAM. Um, and you've, you got them both. Oh, that's cool. Black Friday stuff, right? Yeah, Black Friday, which sometimes begins. <gasps> Holy shit. Sorry. I'm excited by this, which you might be able to tell. 
because I haven't seen the word transcode come across on one of these ever. Or at least not one on the servers. Like, I'm not jinxing it. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to sit here and go la 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 la. I am happy to see that, though. It is delightful to see the word transcode. Yeah, so I I think CentOS is what I use. Cent, I don't know how you pronounce it, but I think CentOS or CentOS or whatever um, was the main thing we used. So I was originally on Red Hat stuff. And then as they started getting more chargy about their things, we went to CentOS because, um, like, I don't, it was just me doing it. Like I didn't need like support from a you know corporate support or whatever. Um, but I really liked it. I, I think I played with Fedora for a while. Those are all, all three of those are the same basic structure, right? Um, it's not like one of them's, it's not like the difference. Cause like Red Hat and Ubuntu or Debian and Ubuntu, are like those are, I mean, they're all Linux, right? They've all got the most of the same stuff, but they're like different package managers and different all that stuff, right? Because I was actually looking at SUSE, S-U-S-E, whatever, for the first time today, because I was banging my head against this Ubuntu stuff. And I was like, I'm just going to try looking at a different box. But like the package manager was all different. Like you had to like kick over to root. And it was just like, eh, let me take a breather here and then go back to Ubuntu or Ubuntu or however you pronounce it. and see what happens. And so far, that looks good. Just gonna figure out why it's so slow. If that was an M, I'm gonna do a C. With <laughs> 96 cores. I don't know if, if more cores help this thing or not. The cool thing is though, I can actually script this stuff if I wanted to, well, I've got, yeah, so I've been, and this is like my third deployment script of this. Like the, here's the first one where I was trying to figure shit out. Um, but like, I can just run this script. I can point it at a machine, run the script and then fire things off and then have it go and then time it and see what happens. I could bring this over here. That way I can see it over here and see it. Okay. That kind of makes sense. So Fedora became right, GL, right, right, both written. Okay, final version of Red Hot becomes CentOS. Okay, I gotcha. So that's the flow of it. Okay, so CentOS is then also ahead. So like if you've got new versions of packages and stuff, and that's actually one of the reasons I, I liked it better, I'm remembering now, is because like whatever, FFmpeg would be, a, you know, version four and Red Hat would only have three of it or like version three or something, but CentOS would have four in the packages because um, it was more up to date. Red Hat was doing all their, you know, whatever. It's their strict stuff or whatever, but... Um, They do not make it easy to pick stuff. Like I just look at all this, just like a giant batch of numbers. C5, and like what's the difference between a C5 and a C4? And also you can't sort, it's just like, come on. There's a, actually EC2 instances info. Somebody scraped all the data. Oh, that's a good way to think about it. I gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah, and that's something. So I kept. I can't remember why, but I think I kept running into stuff where 
Ubuntu was faster, like they were more up to date on packages or something. Um, maybe not than CentOS, but than Red Hat. I can't remember. Somehow I got over there. I can't remember why. Um, but it's what I'm using these days. Um, and it's fine. Like it's especially if this works, I will be very happy with it. And then I can just, yeah, so what I could do is I could just script, or not, not even script, just, well, yeah, kind of script, because this is the script. Um, run it over, copy the file, fire it off, and then have it do unknown process of, here, combine these three MP4 files and time it and tell me how long it takes. And then compare the times to the cost and figure out which one makes the most sense. If I really wanted to do it, I'd do it like statistically, right? We'd do it three or four times. I don't know that I care that much about it because like the difference is probably not going to be huge, I guess. Yeah, and, the, and so that's less of a deal now, probably. But like when I was, and this was 10, 15 years ago, but I was like, I can't remember what it was, but there's some stuff that I was like, I really need to have this. And it was like, whatever the thing was, was like on like version three and Red Hat was still on like 1.2 1 or whatever. It's just like, oh. but that was what we had at work. So that's what we used. And they didn't like me installing stuff from source. Cause it was like, you know, the whole purpose of the Red Hat stuff is you get all that support and security and stuff. If you just, if you use their explicitly defined uh, RPMs. Uh, but yeah, and so actually, I think that's that might have actually been what changed on this. I don't know if you were on here earlier when I was babbling about it, but I didn't install. It looked like the Ubuntu version when I first did it of Node was like version 10. When I did it from source, it's version 15. And I think that is the only significant change that I made um, here. Again, I could go test that and try and figure out if I really wanted to. Um, but I, if I get it working, I don't care that much. Like I'm going to write this up as a blog post just to say like, Hey, if you're, here's the error messages. If you see these error messages and you're trying to do FFmpeg and cat on an EC2 instance, you run this because there may be one other person in the world who is going to run into that. Um, but if they find the blog post, that's good. Cause like, uh, it's amazing how often you get to like that one blog post that's like, Oh my God, I'm glad this exists. It doesn't exist anywhere else on the web, but I found this one. So like I've run into that enough times that it's like, if I find something that I haven't seen really, I'll put it out there. Cause it's like, I would like to be able to be that one blog post for whoever else or post whatever blog. Oh yeah, what are the Arch versions? I don't really, I haven't. Simple lightweight. Oh, okay, so they are just, they give you a base. and then it just stays up to date pretty quick. Is that what it sounds like? I think that's what you're saying and what I'm reading. Wait, what did I say? Sorry, if you know yours, yeah. Oops. That is the wrong window. <laughs> Easier to install and use an arch itself. Jarl. Doesn't need an introduction, except for the fact that I've never heard of it. I mean, I'm not in this game, so. The other one, what's the one, what's the security one? 
I don't think it's an Arch Linux. It's got all the pen testing tools on it. Starts with a K or something. Cali. There you go. Uh, that's what I remembered. I went to uh, a Ruby meetup one time and there was a dude who's like his job was pen testing and I was just like, I would like to know more about what you do because without actually doing it because I would go to jail if I've tried it. Uh, that was funny. There was a couple times way back. What's the other um, Metasploit? That's probably on here. Um, I was messing with Metasploit at our office and really quickly needed to turn it off. And then immediately went and talked with the network guys. And I was like, hey, I might have, you might have seen some weird traffic just a minute ago. Yeah, and like I'm not I'm not after going into anything. Like I'm if if I did anything, I would be super on the white hat side, but like so much of the stuff, like it is so I don't know, locked down or whatever. But like again, you can get like Metasploit, right? And then if people aren't patched, you're in. Which isn't, that's not like me doing a thing. That's just me running some software. Touchdown! Oh my god. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't know why it's smaller. Oh, it re-encodes. Okay. So, last little bit. Just to make sure. I think we can do this, right? So if we pull, I've got something that I can actually mount that drive on, but that would take a little while to set up. And I don't know what's, what else is in there. All right, so this goes here, output, output, mp4, two slashes, we wanna get those. And then we're gonna just bring that to wherever we are. We got video. Oh, that was a long time. That was a long time. All right, I'll be right back. I got to take a break after that. I'll be back in just a minute. <laughs>
yes, 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 Yeah, no, I, I think it'd be, su and also I'm just super interested in all that stuff. Like, I want to know how the systems work, because that I think anything that you do that gives you better understanding of the thing that you're working on is valuable. Um, you may not, but exactly to your point, right? Um, yeah, if you have an offload, uh, spring security. What's spring security? Hold on, spring security. No OAuth. Oh, Spring, as in Spring for as Java Spring. Okay, I gotcha. I'm not in the Java world, but yeah. So I'm assuming that's what you mean, right? That that Spring security. Oops, I'll keep doing that. Okay. Yeah, that's one. Okay, cool. All right, so now we need to prove repeatability here. I gotta figure out which way I wanna do that. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new file that we're gonna call deploy for. We can add it to get. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Just gonna copy all this over. Um, build essentials and solve Python two. Package config, let's put that down at the bottom. Oops, I don't know if that matters, but just in case. Oh, let's put it below that. Let's put it below that. Put that down there. I kind of want to do all these remotely, but this is fine. Can you execute a bash script remotely? Give it like a full script? I'll bet you can. How do you use SSH to run a low? Yeah, that's what I want to do. Plank, part of putty, and the M. SSH in a machine B. Bash SS. You shouldn't have to copy the script to remote server to run it. Okay, that's super cool. Let's see if that works. Where are my EC2 machines? Alright, I'm not killing the one that works yet. However, I am gonna launch a new one with more horsepower, maybe? Wanna do that? Yeah, let's do it with more horsepower. See, what the hell's the difference between the C4s and the C5s, C6s? Somebody told me once, I can't remember what it is. I, it, 
Was it generational? Okay, yes. Yeah, so, oh, God. Become an AWS expert. Yeah, so they're the newest generations. Yeah, and so usually if I'm okay, this is I think I remember this now. And so usually if they they end up costing about the same for better hardware because Amazon just keeps stacking it up. So C, now it's the difference between a C6 and a C. Uh, five AD versus C5, C5 A. Oops, crap, come here. Shit. What the hell's going on there? Okay. I, uh, I'm still putting in things in the wrong thing. I'm trying to make them go I'm tired. Oh, <laughs> come on. Work for me. Do what you're supposed to do. Copy the link address. Paste the link address. Thank you. Copy the link address. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did some vagrant a while ago. But I never. Uh, so I did that for for dev stuff, where I wanted to have a machine that was like my server, you know. So I had the same, basically the same environment. Um, my my server was Ubuntu. I wasn't running a container inside. I wasn't like running a VM inside the server, which you can do now too, right? Um, you could then too, but um, I would just run Vagrant to run stuff locally to do my dev there, so that I could like you know have have a database spun up that would be like production and like all the other stuff. So yeah, I never really messed with Ansible though. I looked at it just a little bit. That's the um, the one that kind of keeps things together, right? Just use Docker, right? Um, yeah, it's weird because I still don't like Docker, Ansible, Vagrant. Like they're all kind of in the same hemisphere of each other. Um, to me, I still don't like have good ideas of like when you would use Docker versus when you should use Vagrant versus and Kubernetes is in there too. I don't really know what Kubernetes even is, um, but I think it's another in that another package or another. Uh, Whatever those things are, I forget what they're called. Not package manager or something. Amazon EC2 instances. Here we go. Maybe this will tell us what this is. Offer processors based on the size of the instance C5 and C5D. Metal features second gen C5A instance is a custom 3.3. Who knows? I'm just gonna pick one. And it'd be super nice if they showed you the prices here. Here, C5. Wait, okay, what was the A in the D? A in the D? Second generation is a scalable processor. Like the future is all core, all core turbo frequency through six maximum. Yeah, we're gonna go with the AD. Sounds cool. C5 AD. I've got no idea how much this thing costs. It's probably a couple bucks. Uh, 
let's go with 32 CPUs and 64 gigs. Configure instance. That's all fine. Storage, ooh. It's already got a bunch of storage, nice. Launch. That's cool. You let me launch it? Last time I tried to launch one of these. Hey, okay, cool. Vagrants for configuring Linux environments. Docker Kubernetes run holder spectrum. Docker creates virtual environments. Okay, I gotcha. For some reason, I thought with Vagrant, I was make maybe with Vagrant, I was making Docker images. It's been a while; I don't remember. Um, yeah, I think Ansible is the one that's more like Chef and Puppet, where it's for maintaining configure well, for configuring kind of remotely and maintaining configurations. Um, and I think Ansible, you didn't have to have, I may be getting this wrong, but like with some of them, with like Chef and Puppet, I think you have to have like a central server. And so like you deploy out and then things come to talk to the server and then update themselves as necessary. I think with Ansible, it's more of a push. So you could, you could basically not have it, not have to have a central server. You could just talk to it. Um, of course, you'd want to do that from a server, but it's been a long time since I've looked at any of that stuff for real. Um, but I, it's probably changed 500 times since I've looked at it. I'm not really, again, I'm not really in that world anymore. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit more into it again with some of the stuff that I'm doing, but like, there's also like Amazon has, um, ECS elastic container storage, which is like their Docker stuff. Um, so like I've been playing around with that a little bit and like, it's just, it's kind of all over the place. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Right. Yeah, doc Docker's the the actual thing, and and Vagrant is the thing that configures it, kind of thing. I can see that. Okay, so we some item another. What is this? Seems bad. Oh, it's because I'm on a different thing. Um. I just lost my IP address, which you can get again. Okay, so that. Where did our little stack overflow answer go? I think this could be super awesome. That. v4 dot bash can it really be that simple holy crap <laughs> I love automation No, oh, there's a time zone thing happening there. Didn't see that before. Try and keep an eye on this and actually see if I see any actual like errors. Yeah, 
Yeah, I need to learn more about all this stuff. Like, it's still... It it just it goes so fast, right? There's so much new stuff all the time. Like, um, I went to Amazon's reInvent conference last year when people could still travel, and there was like, here's the 1,752 new features that we've added this week. And it's just like, jeez. Um, I mean, it's awesome. Don't get me wrong. But, like, it's... It's just a little bit every now and then, like, uh, I need to hang on to something here for a minute so I can figure something else out before 10 things other jump. And, of course, as everybody talks about, right, the JavaScript stuff and the JavaScript train, right? There's been three new JavaScript frameworks in the time that I've said this sentence. It's doing node, okay. It's right down to node. Oh, wait, hang on. Where is this? Is it already down here? That was fast. Oh, wait, I didn't want to do that. That one didn't work. Oh, well. Let's see what happens. Crap, now I kind of want to do it again. Oh, okay, I gotcha, yeah. Parallels, I used to run Parallels. I think I've got VirtualBox on here. Maybe that's what it was. I don't remember. I, I think maybe Vag... No, Vagrant talked into VMware. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, so... Vagrant was configuring my VMware boxes. That's it. It was like, it was great though. Like, get a little environment set up that was all sectioned off. The only thing I kept running into was running out of disk space because um, I didn't have enough space. So I was, you, you and your two terabyte SSD are making me jealous. Though it is, of course, easy to fill up any hard drive of any size, right? I'm bummed that I missed that one and put that headless thing in there. I should not. I should have taken that out. Oh, I actually could have. Yep, there's all the errors. But now it's trying FFmpeg. Yeah, I had this GL. Okay, so that I took that out for the next time. Somewhere, wherever that is. Here. I'm trying to figure out how to set up like a full on deploy package because you could, like, I could set this up so that I could run one command, have it copy the files. Oh, and that was the other key, right? I had to do that. Yeah. So could, yeah, so I could make. And by can, I mean, I'm going to try. New folder. Deployer, what do we call it, V1? Or we just call it Deployer and put V1 in there. Whatever. Oh yeah. It's like, it's basically RAM, right? I mean, it feels like it. Yeah, I've, I've got a NAS. I actually, my NAS gave me a warning. One of the hard drives in it is freaking out. Um, so I got to go fix that probably this weekend, if not before. Because um, 
that's the my NASA is not as backed up as it wants to be. One of the next projects I'm going to work on after I get this done is setting up a process that you can run on multiple computers that'll back your stuff up to Amazon's deep storage, um, and without freaking itself out. Oh, look at this. Okay, so hang on a second. Let me get where am I going? Play review on. So let's move a couple things into there. That didn't work at all. Uh, rename it. So here's a clip. Chop clip. Oh, okay, yeah, so I want a clip. Before, and then we're going to go see if we can find another clip. That was the same one. Does it have a clip? Nope, same one. Click here. This will be clip two. Okay, so now. here nope that didn't work control n doesn't what the hell okay we'll do it this way move files bash yes then bash CP that we're gonna do here let's do the full path real quick to here I'm just gonna do it to the root right now. One dot mp4. Why wow, don't you see that? Two. So those should both go. So let's see if that works. Uh, user execute new files. New files. That work. That works. Wait a minute. Where's the new, where's the new box? Wait, is this the right machine? I've got too many machines going right now. Servers everywhere. 213. Okay, that's the right one. Thirteen. Okay, so we're gonna come here. And then Alright, I'm not gonna worry too much about this. We're just gonna run this. On the near machine. Let's see, run that time. Oh come on. Did I not do FFmpeg? I'll bet I didn't do FFmpeg. Uh, I did not do FFmpeg.
Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, Raid Zero, scary. But if you're just talking about your, your PC, well, less so. But yeah, don't do not do that for an ass. That's, that's sadness is what that is. Goes pretty fast when the clips are pretty small. That's hot. All right, let's throw. All right, where is the original deploy? Here's all the other crap that I was trying to go through to get this stuff to work. And like, I swear some of this stuff must've just conflicted with itself. Hey, look, here's Headless GL. Oh, I need CPAN to run, okay. I guess I should put these in. Whoa, why is that freaking out? Make their pseudo make their what's going on here? Oh, copy the key over. Ah oh, crap. Okay. Whatever. We'll do this this way. Because that's running on the server, I need to run this from back here. I understand. Um, install CPAN. Bash. I need to set that as an environmental variable. Right now, I'm just trying to get this going. Like, first time through is going to be ugly. So that did all those. And then EXIF tool comes in here. Whoops, wrong IP address. See, I need to set that as an environmental variable. He says, and still doesn't do it. So starting at the top, we did all the yum, we did build, we got all these, we did all those. What is this? This was still trying to figure out how to get FFmpeg, concat working. There's node. I think this was the problem. There's FFmpeg, which we've done. There's MCAT or whatever. Here's the XF tool. Okay, so now 
We're gonna make the directories. And deploy files. all those directories. Oh, guess what I almost forgot to do. And these all go to their full paths. So I should just be able to run this. Oops. Oh, come on. Where'd my file go? Oh, I did it up top. Crap. See, it does that. What's that doing? Oh, Python virtual environment. I gotcha. the one. Uh-oh. It's doing a thing. Okay, that downloaded fast. I have no idea how long the clip was. Whoa, okay. This is hauling ass. Seven seconds remaining, that's a good sign. Means it's counting down. There's FFmpeg concat. <laughs> that's kinda interesting. Yeah, right. Yeah, so I, my, my box is I think it's 11 hard drives, eight primary, and then three redundant. Um, oh, oh, come on, don't you dare. Oh, wait, 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 wait. hang on. I might know how to fix this. Whoops, I might know how to hit the wrong page. Where's the FFmpeg concat command? Uh, 
What if those files are already downloaded? Like that's going super duper fast. Like super duper fast. But if it works. Yeah, I need to figure out if there's a way to take the audio off of it because the audio takes some time to process and there's no, like there is no audio coming into it. So if I can delete, rip those tracks out and just have them skip it, it'll save a little time. Yeah, the audio is taking longer than the video. So how are we going to get this back? You were so close. You were so close. If I've been AV interlaid over right frame and put output error. So I was trying to create a new directory. Oh my God. Is it really, is it? No, it's there. Crap. I was so close. It's making it. It's making it. Where is it putting it? Add audio no such file or directory. All right, hang on. So here's the command. What happens if we run this? Usually means the input file is truncated or corrupted. Concat error, not empty, armed error. I don't care about that. Oh, come on.
Does it clear it a second time? Oh, I should turn off quiet. Oops, that's not helpful. Cancel. It worked a minute ago. We all saw it. I should look and see. Uh, video test, video storage. Clip's got size. Okay, so it's got something in it. They both got stuff in there. Temp, DA, blah, 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 blah. That's what you don't like. We'll take care of it. Test data, tempter, short MV4. Test data video, 99, yep. Test data video. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Would it really not output if the temp directory is not clean? Oh, what the hell is going on now? All right. Um. Oops, that's not what I meant to do at all. Here's what I meant to do. Video assembler. What if we, nope, lost it. What if we run this, but not in the Python environment? Which shouldn't make a lick of difference. Until it does. Do not understand. This folder, use Glit Run, blah blah blah.
<sighs> See, I did something slightly different, and now it's not working. is frustrating it's all C drives I don't want the C drives that is all crap um, let me try just redoing it. Whoa, it's angry. What's going on? Wait. Is this the right box? Fifteen ninety nine. Two and three. Am I in the wrong, wrong box right now? No. What's this? What's... Who knows? Oh, it's the internal IP drive. 172s. Okay, gotcha. Okay, we're gonna blow this box away and we're gonna start one more time. Hello, disposable server. See if I can build this back out. So, Pythons, there's FFM pegs in front this time. There's that. Here's Node. We're not doing headless. Yeah, okay. So run deploy. those just 
to the root. Um, actually, how about this? Uh, what do we want to call this? Move files. That's really what this one is. All right, move the test files. Oh, I guess I should build another box. What did you do last time this one? Nope, because it had storage of its own. Whatever, oops, cancel, get out of there. So that box should be going away, right? Wait, I thought it terminated. To confirm that you want to terminate, choose terminate button below. Terminating the instance cannot be undone. Thought I did that last time. That's what I think I did last time, right? Here, I'll back it off one just in case. Add storage. 200. Fourteen. Configure. I'm starting to get better at this. Those other boxes are going to cost me six dollars. Actually, less than that. I think it's forty cents a dollar an hour for a few hours. Three bucks. All right, fourteen. What you got for me?
do everything. So that moves the files. And then, really what we want is here, do one more. It commands to run on server. Bash. I wouldn't do EXIF tool again. We're up with that. I swear that was in here. Oh wait, is that up in this one? Nope. This one? Oh, where did I put it? Install CPAN. We did its own thing. Keeps dying. One thing, that's fine. I do kind of want this all in one script though. Or two scripts. Also, my brain is stuck right now. server so install python v2 move files this is cool okay but then we do this
node. Okay, so move files. I don't understand how there'd be threes. File list. I don't understand how that ran without modules get installed, pip modules get installed. So let's move the files. And then we run these on the server. So we run that first. CPAN, did we do CPAN already? I don't think we moved CPAN in. run one file from another. You just call it, right? Or call it the source command, as in, yeah, this is dot source path to script. All right. So here. Run deploy, bash. It's a little ridiculous, but I just want to, I'm exercising at this point. So to do that, that moves all the files. That's actually going to run on it, which we should run that first. And then we'll do CPAN second. And then move files third. That makes sense. Yeah, sorry, I, I've been in this. Sorry, I don't remember. I don't know when you saw shot that over. Um, yeah, I mean, you want it. You want you want the speed on the 
main disk, right? The, the OS and, and Fire and Apps and stuff, right? So for like storage, that's way less of a thing. Um, I think, like whatever. I mean, faster is always better, but like more expensive. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be angry at it. At all. Also, something is humming. I think my uh, EPS might be freaking out. So, wait a minute. It was SSH, and then we pass. that bash.s oh I forgot the command my computer is not liking how many tabs I have open right now Yeah, bash does that. So this is the new one. All right, let's see if we can wrap the whole thing up. So that's gonna fire those commands off. Especially when we actually give it the right thing to do. was smart, I'd use find and replace. And then we just run that, I think. I'm actually not 100% sure how this works. Just call it. Also, are all those file paths absolute? Looks like it. That doesn't matter. That one's absolute. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, ooh, that one's not absolute. That would have bombed up. Also, that's why I should run find and replace. Let's see what happens. Oops, go to the right directory. Oh, it's already there. What wah. Could not reserve host name. Oh yeah. Whoa. 
Phillips. That is a variable. That Tom Amity's find your place. All right, let's see what happens. Starting. Yeah, so I've got um, a little 2015 MacBook Pro is what I'm doing all this off of. Um, and then I've got a Windows machine that a guy who I know is into gaming was upgrading his machine, so he sold me this one for cheap. Um, it's pretty fast. It's pretty fast. Um, I don't really game on it though. Um, it's mainly I'm just starting to use it for a little bit of video stuff, and I use it as a stream PC. Uh, but yeah, so I'm I'm super interested to see. I know they had all the the new Macs coming out, um, but like I said, this one's five years old, so I'm going to start eyeing the new ones um, to see. It's, it's about time. Like, this one's been great. I'm not not knocking it, but um, especially as I have done some stuff on this other machine on the Windows box that's, you know, five years newer and way specced up. It's like, ooh, <laughs> fast. Speed is nice. So... Yeah, do you do you run Linux most of the time or you uh do you do Windows stuff too or anything else? I really hope this time works. Oh yeah, but it's yeah. So I just I've got the Mac, the MacBook wired up to a USB drive or USB splitter, and then because I've got a little stereo here and uh, for speakers, and I don't know, there's three or four other things that are plugged in back there. I can't remember what they are right now. Um, but I don't, I actually don't like typing on the Mac keyboard, uh, and also I like the bigger monitor. It's like a I don't know, 24, 26 inch monitor, something like that. Um, which I could use a little bit bigger, but like, I'm sure it'll be nicer when I finally get one, but like right now I don't want to spend the money on that. So this does okay. That's like, it's actually a really good monitor. It's like, a, it's sharp and it's nice. It's like, it's one of the old Dell ones or whatever, but um, I think it's Dell. I don't know, I taped over the thing. Uh, Yeah, I, I know very little about Windows. The it's really messed with me. The the biggest thing that's messed with me is I do a little bit of the streaming stuff on it, and I like that's where I clip videos and like do some of the uploading and stuff. And I keep a spreadsheet of the videos and all this other stuff. But like, so I'm trying to like cop <coughs> excuse me copy and paste the names of the videos from the files into the spreadsheet. And of course, the where you hit the button to make control C or command C or whatever is different. And I'm still, I'm actually, it's, I'm starting to get used to it to the point where I, I recognize like subconsciously, whichever box I'm on and I hit it the right way. But as soon as I stop to think about it, I'm completely lost about what I'm doing. So I just kind of have to like, just do it. But so far it's been good. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I like, I should, do some gaming on it because it's a pretty good machine, but I'm just not doing much gaming stuff right now. So I'm mainly doing the streaming stuff and like, I really want this one to get finished. I'm ready for this to be done. <laughs> Although we had it there, it was working a minute ago. 
and then we fired it up on another box and it didn't. So there's some like the good news is that proves that it can work. Now I guess one of the differences is I moved off an M box to a C box, but that shouldn't it was like a temporary fire fire permission thing. Like who knows? I'm not closing down that other box until I get this new one working though. And I've still got all the notes from all the uh, from all the first times I went through it, so hopefully somewhere in here is the magic. There's an app I saw that lets you replay your command history, and of course you can just grab the history, um, which maybe I should have done. Actually, yeah, I probably should have just done that um, so I could just see all the crap that I went through. Um, that's actually not a bad idea at all. Just look at that. Yeah. What's funny, there, there also used to be, and that probably still are, the Hackintosh, the people who basically figure out what all the parts are. And, and maybe that's what you're talking about. And like, uh, but they get, they buy like all the spec, that the same spec parts that Apple uses reassemble it and then install the OS on it um, and, and get it going. Most of the time, like they can usually get it going, but it's like also one of those things that's like super fragile. And it's like, if I'm using a box, if I need, if, if I'm using a computer, it's as a tool and I need it to work. I don't want to be fiddling with it all day. Like I, I enjoyed, sometimes I enjoy fiddling with stuff and I enjoy, I way enjoyed that when I was first getting into it. But now it's like, I got to do work. <laughs> I need the machine to go. So I'm less I'm less interested in that stuff now. Failing command. So I don't know it failed. Let's see, what do we do? So I think we got all those. Maybe. Oh, I don't think I installed. Python. Virtual environment. Python. There's CPAN, where is Python virtual environment? Here we go. I didn't do that one. So if I rerun this, what's gonna happen? It should just be okay, right? Yeah, there goes Python, virtual environment, okay. Wait, why is it doing Node.js? Oh, because it's down here. Ha, huh, okay. All right, so we're down here.
Yeah, I thought it was hardware too, but maybe it's just that they've got... Maybe they just give you specific hardware lists? I'm not sure, I can't remember. Um, but I know it's weird because like, Apple, like, is so, like one of the reasons they're stable or they're as stable as they are is because they don't have to deal with a million different vendors, right? You know this. Um, so, but part of that is if you don't get the right parts, the OS just won't, you know, freaks out or won't talk to them or blows up or does whatever. Um, so I think I think there's a hardware component involved in the Hackintosh, and maybe it's a set of components or whatever um, to get to get the specs for, uh, so that it so all the drivers to work basically. Run strap get to install 15. Oh, okay, right. So this does this does the local one. And we also need development tools to build native add-ons. Can I create directory? Oh, nope. Special install, click, bash, command not found. What the hell's going on? Okay, file exists, that's okay. Collecting open CV Python, okay. There's scene detect. Successfully installed that. No, oh, command not found. Okay, so maybe we gotta do, I think I see what's going on. I don't know if this have to be executable or not. We'll find out in a second. They do not. No, oh, really? Wow. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah, I, I okay. I misunderstood. I thought they had to like work on specific uh, hardware pieces, or maybe I guess maybe the software that they, they translate it in flight to work with other drivers. Is that how it works, or, or work with other hardware? Must be right. Okay, it looks like everything installed. I think I should still be able to do this. Nope, guess not. There you go. Basic test. Oh wait, you gotta do the X XVF that that. FFmpeg concat, right? Output output dot mp4. We're gonna get one and two. That works. 
Who the hell knows what difference? Maybe it doesn't run in my script? Is that what it is? That would suck. Oh, okay, right, yeah. So he's he knows the magic and the incantations. Source, Vin, Vin, activate. Maybe I did do that. So, video assembler. I think. All right, so set numbers. Oops. X E F B dash R U N. I wonder if it needs to be here too. I don't think we did that last time. I don't think that was the problem, but. Mm, we're gonna leave that alone for right now. Which Python? Okay, that's it. All right, fingers crossed. Getting some video. is pretty quick. There's a file. There's a file that was just updated. How do we get to that file? Uh, how about this new file? Pull down files, bash, okay. Whoops, bin bash, bin bash, bin bash, bin bash. I have no idea it was different. I mean, it was basically the same scripts, right? Just magically it started working. SCP. SCP. So, make their. Whoops. Whoa. What was that? Desktop videos from server, whatever. Uh, make their P. Video assembler v4, test data, Whoop. wait, video assembler, I don't remember what the path was. Maybe I should go get the path. Oh, come on. 
Also, this should be this, should be this, should be this, should be this, with that. No matches. Can you not? Oh, 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 I see what's going on. I see. Try that. Still no matches. You're frustrating me. That's what you're doing. Uh, I should use R-Sync, if I can remember how to do R-Sync. R-Sync, AVN. Desktop. Videos from server. Oh, public key. Um... Does this work? file directory. I have done something silly somewhere along the lines. What the hell's going on? Can you not do that here? Good lord. Okay, now hang on. Can you actually do this? Seems like you should be able to do this. Crap, you can't, okay, so you can't do it in a wild card, huh? What blows. Anyways. It's here now, so moment of truth. Did it work? Got to something else, please. Wait. actually change. That's disconcerting. Okay, we're gonna fire one up for real and see what happens. Maybe we are. Where's, uh, where am I going? Okay, I know what's going on. Uh, punch arm, no. <sighs> Three copy here. Uh, that's the longer one. Where's the short one? That's the shortest one. 
All right, let's do a full length one. And for the URL, oh, maybe there wasn't enough in the URL list. So let's get a couple more URLs. Here, let's give it like this many more URLs. So, I don't know why that flipped down, whatever. Move files. Actually, if I just run move files. Nah, whatever, I can just find it. Uh, yeah, so you can do it here. And it sends up multiple files, but you can't do it on the other direction, huh? Kind of a bummer. Now let's give it this. All right, here's a full run. Actual file with some number of actual URLs for it. I just saw something pink go. Cannot find an index entry before timestamp zero. Missing keyframe while searching for timestamp. I don't know if that's bad or not. This goes fast. I should have done the dev on the server. Well, it would have taken me a year to figure it out. Hundred and twenty two seconds remaining. See if that countdown actually works. I have no idea. Some of these videos are like hours long, which is kind of funny because I like I only pull like 12 seconds out of them. Um, so I should, if I was really going to program it better, I'd probably like split stuff out into scenes and then like randomly pick scenes from existing ones more often than jumping out and getting new ones. But that's more complicated logic than version one was going to have. So it doesn't have that logic. I could narrow down the scope. Uh, so like I've got 5,000 videos that I can feed it. I could just narrow down the scope to give it only like 100 or so and then have it work on those and that would effectively do the same thing. Yeah, the one I want to look at is like, there's some FFmpeg stuff that apparently you could, like, I don't know how, like, these machines don't have graphics cards on them, apparently. It's just all CPU horsepower, but they, the one that I'm trying to get them to give me access to does have uh, an NVIDIA cards on it, like eight of them. Um, so I don't know how FFmpeg deals with that, uh, like, if it really utilizes it. Um, if so, it would be, like, super, like, this is already super fast. Um compared to like what I was doing on my machine. I should at some point do a video between the two of them because it's significantly different. But it'd be neat to see how fast you can make these things go. Um, Cause like I've got, and it's the same thing, right? If I've got, I've got 1500 of these songs that I want to do. 
like, can I pay $4 for one server for three hours or $2 for one server for a bunch, you know, for more hours, but let, like, where's the, where's the balance of it? Um, you know, price, price per song basically is what it would amount to or price per minute converted. Um, regardless of how, of how that goes. I should put my time signal. Wow, it's so fast. I should put my uh, timestamps back in there somewhere where I can see them, even though I don't think you'd actually see it because I think it's all the FFmpeg stuff. Thirty-one seconds remaining. There are thirty-one seconds on the song remaining. Because it goes, gets a video, takes out a chunk of a random chunk of the video, then finds a scene within that, and then however many seconds that scene is, it subtracts that from the duration of the MP3, and then repeats it until there's no, there's no time left in the MP3, and then does the assembly. Oh man, I really, yeah, okay, it looks like I did put the FFmpeg. Yeah, there's the FFmpeg concat command with all the videos, look like a bunch of them. Yeah, I've got no idea what I did different to have it not do that temp directory thing. Hopefully it doesn't decide to do it again here. That would be a bummer. Starting to get tired. Oh, I've been this type of focus for this amount of time. Like I was doing it all last night and then all tonight, just like, oh, go take a break and just like make some animated GIFs or something. That's going to be the cut down command. Oh, it gives you the scene counts. 17, 18, 19. Looks like there's 20 scenes. Yeah, there's also a... So all of the transitions in between these clips, the whole reason I'm going after this FFMV concat is to do different transitions between the clips, different types. Um but I couldn't get that to work out of the gate. So again, I just backed off of that. It's like, get the, I'm trying to get the first one out. Um, rendering is a good idea. Transcoding is also an excellent idea.
wonder if there's a way to do it without transcoding. Probably not, because you got to put the... It's like actually making new content to put in. Yeah, so the way they do the test would be to run it with just a limited number of URLs so that the network didn't really matter and then run it again after all the URLs are downloaded so that they don't matter at all. And then just run the run the process, basically doing the clipping and assembly. Watch it paint dry. fours thank you that's an audio mp3 in there that's weird doing anything else after that transcode thing. I thought that was the end of it. What's going on? Seconds remaining. Oh, 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 the other file's still in there. Okay. yet. Oh, okay, so you got to put quotes around it somewhere else. I do it like this. How do you do this? Slashes. I wasn't thinking. I'm losing my ability to think. Go! All right. Moment of truth. Moment of truth.
I think it's working. About 39B, all right, all right, 39B. Yeah, so it's doing the same stuff because there's not that many URLs for it yet. But that's pretty cool. I'm excited about that. I wanna do one more. No, I'm not, I'm gonna cash out. That works. That's weeks of stuff. Oh, sweet. Yeah, that's cool. I'm really happy with that. I like that a lot. So now I can just feed it MP3s and URLs and have it go do its thing. That's really cool. I'm really excited about that. I'm very excited about that. All right, I'll do it. See y'all. Have a good one. Probably tomorrow. Almost certainly. See ya.